Good evening. Um, after I graduated from college in the early 90s, I worked on two of the most impacted areas from the LA riots. It was no surprise that these areas had some of the lowest wages, worse schools, and suffered decades of redlining. Each revitalization plan that I worked on took approximately one year. And while I was extremely proud of the work that I had done, I became frustrated when the recommendations had gone nowhere after I left. I learned a valuable lesson about myself. I needed to see tangible results. I needed to see it, touch it, and feel it. And that's how I got into affordable housing. <laughs> My name is Christian Omada, and I'm the executive director of Clifford Beers Housing. And since then, I've submerged myself in all things housing development, tax credit syndication, and spent the last 15 years of my life really exclusively doing homeless housing. And as the years passed by, I became disheartened with how long it took to assemble capital how expensive each step of the process is, and how long it takes to build. And as a practitioner of martial arts for 37 years, long time, <laughs> obsessed with all models of efficiency, this experience spoke to me. So efficiency in martial arts is defined as utilizing as little energy as possible in the fastest time possible through an automated set of complex movements. So I thought to myself, well, can I apply that to this? And the answer was an unequivocal yes. So I decided to create something that we call advancements. The ninja warriors, the Navy SEALs of homeless housing. <laughs> to create a new path, a bifurcated process, if you will, to resolve our issues. So advancements essentially and efficiently tackles the two primary issues associated with homeless housing today. Costs too much, and it takes too long. Costs approximately half a million dollars to do one 350 square foot unit, and it takes approximately five to six years to do one project. Advancements can do it in a quarter of the cost for less. If we lease land, as opposed to buying it, as in the case of city-owned land or church-owned land, and if we site next to, I got a prop here, hold on. Public, can everybody see this? Public <laughs> transit, okay? We can avoid costly costs associated with concrete podiums for parking. And if we utilize a faster means of building, such as prefab construction, we can save dollars because we're going faster. And by the way, I can fix my construction cost, thereby mitigating cost increases that are approximately 25% a year. So now, instead of being half a million dollars, it's 375,000. But advancements can also do it faster. We can do it 33% faster if we select sites that do not require zoning changes, if we utilize longer-term perm products that allow us to borrow more with great rates right now. And by the way, that's fewer funding applications, less dependence on public dollars. And if I do prefab, I can stack my development phases and automate the complex construction tasks, similar to the way I pair my martial arts techniques. So now, while I'm building my units off-site, I can be doing foundations on-site. So therefore, instead of being five to six years, I can do it in three to four years. So in conclusion, I want to ask you, I want to invite you to join us in our fight. We need land. We need competitive loan products. We need to automate housing. 
But above all, we need to be open to new and efficient ideas if we ever want to end homelessness. Thank you.